One, two, one, two, a, a, check, one, two. Oh shit, you never want to have some fun! but it doesn't matter. Hello, I'm Rabir, hope you're all well. Uh, thought I'd shoot a quick vlog about the second of two gigs that we're playing with Frog Leap. Yesterday we played in Brighton, hometown show, Concord 2. Now we're at Electric Brixton in Brixton, and it's a really cool venue. It used to be an old cinema, and hopefully there's a bit of B-roll and all sorts of it going on. You should see how cool this place looks, but yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Finishing sound check. Um, thought I may as well show you the rig. I've obviously done a video on it anyway, which you've probably seen, but it's nice to have it in in practice. So it literally, this is all I bring to the gig now. It's just this board. So James just plugs these two XLRs in the back. I plug my guitar in the side here, and then it's just good to go. And we used it last night in Brighton. Had a few teething issues because uh, usually we're panned. So like I'm on the left, Leo's on the right. Uh, but I did it from the QC, which actually messed with the volumes of the presets because they're stereo presets with two amps. And when I'm panning from the, from the QC, it's only you, you're favoring one of the two amps. So if I keep it centre here and pan it from the in-ears, then it's always like that left-right mix that you're messing with after the fact. So it, it, it sounds way better this evening, and I'm way happy about it. In my ears, of course, because I'm fine with it. But um, yeah, other than that, I'm just using the QC tonight. I've got the other pedals on the board, obviously. Sometimes I'm kicking in the revival drive for an extra boost. Haven't had a chance to use this oil yet, but I'm planning to incorporate it in at some point when I've got more time. I just restrung the carpet first tonight, so I haven't had a chance to sound check it yet because my guitar strap's upstairs drying from last night's gig. Um, so I'm using the smoke. Well, I use the smoke for a sound check, and I'll probably. I don't know which one I'll use tonight. Obviously, we've got Leo's Line 6. Leo's stuff. This is all of his. Uh, He's got so much stuff going on here. <laughs> Compared so, to me, so it's like a little workstation. I'm <laughs> cheating over there. I'm loving that. I mean, that is a hench amount of picks to get through in a gig. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'd be surprised. Play hard. Yeah. <laughs> Leo's got shurikens, which you've seen, I think. But yeah, obviously, the white one's the bad boy. I'm using that on Try because it has the banjo sound from the Variax. <laughs> Something else that's really cool is Eric is now on QC, so this is literally such a simple rig. It's bass into QC and it's wireless line six. And that's it. That's all he has. I'm running my in-ears, these are my um, Empire Ear. Uh, these are the Legend X in-ears that I've had for a few years now and they're great, uh, they sound great. We're using the X32 mixer, let me show you the mixer. Wait, James time. No, no, stop it, I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to get better. Hi guys. I can be a little bit more light than Stop it. I'm trying to be really polite, so I'm trying to be nice and Thank get you. the thing out of my face. <laughs>
This is this is what we're using for in ears. So normally we would have the rack version of this, but it's like we don't have one of the minics. It broke down, so we're using James's full X32, well, compact desk, but it works exactly the same. I mean, we used to use this for front of house for years, but now we're using it for in ears. Um, and yeah, basically we can control everybody's mixes. You can run. You've got all the different ch channels here, so you can scroll through, see what you need. Do your different group sends, so I, you know you've got different group sends here. Um, yeah, it's great. Basically, on my phone, I can control everything that I'm listening to. So, for example, let's go to Kick In and Out. This is channel one. Watch the fader when I do this on my phone. Ooh, how cool is that? So, obviously, that's the same for everybody. We control our, all our mixes from our phone for our in ears, and uh, it's sick. It's all done over Wi Fi, so. In terms of the transmitters and receivers and stuff, it's all Shaw, PSM, or the SLX, I think, I can't remember which one it is, but these are the panels to basically allow us to transmit the signal. Now these are, I think, pretty sure these are higher end, I'm not sure, because I've never seen these up until we started using them with this, but I know that Sennheiser do like a big dome thing as well, that you can use for radio mics and transmitters and stuff, so pretty cool. Yeah, as it says there, unidirectional wideband antenna. So there you go. Trolls is on the Tamastar Classic. Silgen Symbols. Demon Drive pedals by Pearl. Demon Drive. Which I have to drum on Pokemon, so they're really, really light and it's really intense. I've got a ride symbol set up on the right hand side of the, uh, well, the left hand side of the kit because I'm left handed. But that's my Zildjian K Custom okay. ride. That's pretty much it. Now we're just gonna wait around for a few hours, warm up, and and then we're get, gonna get to play. And yeah, can't wait.
front door. Find a warm to be warm in. Drumming. Harry's face used to be a cinema. Well, there's a singer room. Leo's in here as well. That's those are Leo's brushes. That's Leo's foundation. That's Leo's eyeliner. He does a sort of. That's Leo's apple. Yeah, cosmetics at the same time as us. So makes my makeup amazing. And stuff. That's where we warm up. Good. That's backstage. That's backstage, basically. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching this video. Oh. We'll see you at the next one. Woo.